Yeah, that, that's a phone call that you never want to get from your assignment desk, that there's an active shooter situation at one of the largest, if not the largest healthcare provider in Northeast Oklahoma. Um, it took a while to get here, and I just kind of want to reset for people that are just waking up and learning of the news today. I, you know, there are, there are some people that just are probably have appointments on the medical side of things, the medical offices that are here on campus. Remember, if you had a morning appointment, St. Francis is telling everyone, those appointments are canceled this morning so the, the offices can reset. People can take a, a breather, a chance to, to, to a pause after what happened yesterday. But you know, you get here, you get on, you get into this area. Yesterday, there was basically like a one square mile. You know, Tulsa is a grid, right? So you had 50, you had 61st Street to the north, 71st Street to the south, and all of Yale just shut down as they were trying to assess this active shooter situation. You know, thankfully they were quickly able to narrow it down within minutes uh, to one building here on the medical campus side. Um, again, I, I, I can't put this to words. Everyone here has some sort of connection to St. Francis, whether you had you know, friends or family that work here, or you know, maybe you were born here. Uh, I have doctors here. A lot of us share that same story here in Tulsa. And uh, just, that hearing the witness accounts, listen to them and just and hearing how people were able to try to communicate with each other during this incident. Oh my God, oh my God, we got, uh, this is real, this is real. Uh, you don't really hear about this type of stuff in Oklahoma, let alone uh, right down the street from your house. She went down to the first floor to see if, you know, maybe she could leave and that's when she ran into the woman who was, um, crying about her husband being shot in the building uh, across the street and them not knowing whether he's okay or not. And as you heard earlier, you know, there's, there's thousands of people that, that work here on this medical campus. And if you think about all the other people and vendors and patients that come and go all throughout the day, the weeks, you know, this is a 24 seven operation. And so you can, definitely think that it's it is a scary situation when an active shooter call out comes on because um, again if you visited this campus before it you know there's at multiple addresses there's multiple buildings there's buildings on this side of the street that I'm on you know there's a Clint there's multiple clinics and private practices on the west side of Yale and there's tons of private practices on the east side of Yale you know, you've got multiple buildings you've got basements and you know you've got a bunch of people that obviously had to hunker down and shelter in place uh, during the incident it was very hard to get hold of them is a very scary situation and for those of you that have been able to uh, reunite with your loved ones um, I'm grateful for you guys because that was a scary situation when we got on scene reporting live in Tulsa this morning Tony Russell 2 News Oklahoma